Hi, I'm Jesse with Mastercam, and in this video, I want to show you some of the new and existing functionality inside of 2D chaining for toolpaths like Dynamic, Pocket, and Area Mill. Specifically, I will be showing how in Mastercam 2020, we now have support for air regions with more than one open edge. To make things as clear as possible, I'd like to highlight the face that I'll be programming. It's not required for this operation, but I find it useful to better organize, process, and visualize my part. To do this, I go to the Model Prep tab, and under the Color group, I select the Change Face function. I click on the face I want to change, and then pick a color. In this case, I want to use this light blue. When I'm satisfied with my selection, I click OK. Other than the color of this face, this makes no changes to the geometry itself or how I'm going to toolpath the part. On the Toolpaths tab, I select Dynamic Mill from the 2D toolpaths. I want to pick the machining region first, so I make sure I'm in solid selection mode, and I choose Face as the method. Then I select the face that we highlighted earlier. For this operation, I'm going to use the Stay Inside strategy. Using Stay Inside keeps all the toolpath motion inside the area we chained. This strategy is useful for machining pockets or times where a wall or boss is right next to the area we need to machine. To help visualize how Mastercam will process the chaining options I've chosen, I can use Preview Chains. When I launch Preview Chains, Mastercam temporarily color codes the area that will be affected by my toolpath. Other than the one wall next to our machining region, the other sides of our chain are open, so I want to tell the toolpath that it's free to use some of the space to enter and exit the material as needed. To do this, I'm going to specify air regions. Starting in Mastercam 2020, we now have the option to select multiple air regions when chaining, and the feature on this part is a great candidate for this. To add air regions, I click the selection arrow to the right of air regions. In this case, I'm going to use the edges command in solid selection mode. I click on the first entity, then I'll continue along that chain using the next arrow. Once I've got my desired chain, I click end chain, and then I repeat the process with the second open edge that I want to use as an air region. Once these air regions have been specified, I can use preview chains to see how they are going to affect the toolpath that Mastercam creates. As we can see, the preview looks different this time. The machining region is still being shown in red and black, but now the air regions that we selected are shown in blue. The yellow line around the outside shows the containment boundary, which is the border that the tool will not move beyond. If I want to customize these colors, I can easily do that by clicking the color button next to preview chains in the chain options dialog. Now, when Mastercam calculates the tool path, it's aware of the area to be cut, where it's allowed to move freely outside the material, as well as where it needs to avoid moving. And thanks to preview chains, I understand exactly how Mastercam is going to calculate the toolpath before I take the time to generate it, which lets me be more efficient and have greater confidence when working.